Well, hello, everybody. I'm Burns Hargis, president of Oklahoma State University, and we're here for another edition of Inside OSU. And we really are getting inside OSU because we're going to talk to two of the key people in our research uh, mission here at Oklahoma State. Of course, research is one of the three main core missions of a land-grant university, and so we take it very seriously, and we're very proud of our research uh, area. And so I want to welcome, uh, first of all, the new vice president for research here at Oklahoma State, Kenneth Sewell. Kenneth, welcome. Thank you. And uh, you've been here since July, I think. Started at the very end of June and uh, all through July. I'm, I'm, I'm an old timer now and all, halfway through well, August. And speaking of old timers, we've really got an old timer here like I am with the David Waits. Uh, David uh, was a professor uh, here at Oklahoma State and, uh, and then went into business with SST Software. And uh, he is heading up the Oklahoma State University Research Foundation. So welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Sir. Let's talk some research. Absolutely. But first, let's talk a little background. Uh, give everybody a, a quick thumbnail sketch of your background. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm from Coweta, Oklahoma. South of Muskogee, then? Just uh, actually north of, no, north of Muskogee, south of Tulsa, and uh, have been, uh, been out in the academic world for the last 30 years or so, and I uh, finally found my way back to Oklahoma where I belong, but uh, I started my academic career at uh, after going to undergraduate at Kansas State and graduate school at the University of Kansas. I started at the University of North Texas and was there for many years and spent some years at the University of New Orleans as their vice president for research. And uh, David, you... Uh you were a professor of geography, weren't you? I was. I taught the uh, geographic information system, GIS classes, remote sensing, and spatial analysis. You were involved at NASA, weren't you, when uh, was. GPS was being de developed? Well, I worked at a, at a NASA commercialization center at Stennis Space Center, Mississippi, prior to coming to Oklahoma State in a, in a commercialization program. It's like uh, coming full circle. Let's talk a little bit, uh, actually, uh, OSERF, as we call it, Oklahoma State University Research Foundation, actually uh, has been around a long time, uh, but it was called the Center for Innovation and Economic Development at one time. Uh, but I gather your, your mission is to uh, secure and promote research projects for Kenneth's faculty, right? That is correct. Uh, CIED uh, was not only renamed, but we have repurposed it as the OSU Research Foundation. And uh, we, are, we are focusing on the technology transfer activities for the university as, as the technology transfer arm. Well, and let's get into that. But first, yeah. Ken Kenneth, you've, of course, only been here a couple of months now. So, uh, you know, it's probably not fair to uh, make you drill down too oh, sure. deep on the research here at Oklahoma State. But tell me what's your impression uh, impressions oh, are. Oh, absolutely. Well, first of all, you know, Oklahoma State University is a is a comprehensive university. We have uh, expertise across a wide range of, uh, of disciplines here at the university. And as a as a land grant with an agricultural school and a veterinary medicine component, we certainly have that agriculture and, and the, some of the background that you came from, uh, the precision ag and how geography blends into that. But we have things going on in the arts and in humanities and in the social sciences, in particular in some of uh, like psychology, which is in that cusp between the uh, social sciences and what are sometimes called the hard sciences. In the engineering college, we have fantastic work going on with unmanned aerial systems, uh, within, uh, within agriculture and, and in, in the veterinary medicine side, we have toxicology work going that studies the toxicology of, of, uh, of, of animals and, and that has direct application to human toxicology. So uh, there's also an entity called Cowboy Technologies uh, that kind of goes to your technology uh, transfer commercialization right. role. Well, you know, a lot of our innovations that come out of faculty uh, are patented, intellectual property protection uh, is taken, is, is done at the Technology Development Center, which is, which is in uh, OSU Research Foundation now. And so that's the traditional way of commercializing technology to license and distribute royalties. And, but Cowboy Technologies is the next step where we take certain uh, innovations and, and actually create companies and stand up management teams to, to, uh, to run the companies and uh, provide seed money through Cowboy Technologies. What's an example of a, a, just 
tell us a little bit about one of your company. I know, for example, this roll-to-roll -roll technology is roll -roll. rolling. <laughs> yeah, it's rolling. Roll-to-roll uh, -roll technologies is making lateral guides for uh, uh, manufacturers of, of, of diapers, uh, any any material that's rolled on the big on the big rollers that have differing widths and need to be adjusted on the fly with these lateral guides that are driven by sensors. I know our research expenditures are about $130 million. But that's just a, a metric that's used across the country to be able to try to compare one university with another about how much research is going on. They, they just count how many dollars we spend on research. But most of those dollars are acquired from other entities, some at the state level, some at the at the uh, the corporate level, but many of those are are dollars we get in the form of federal grants that then we we don't really get to count them until we spend them because that yeah. says we are doing the research when we spend them. And my goal is really to elevate our status as a research university, and I I try to do that by helping our faculty get the resources they need to uh, to do the research at the highest level possible. So. And the more dollars we have, the higher level of that research we can we can do by spending those dollars on research. But then also to help that research have the greatest impact that it can possibly have. Now in some disciplines, the impact is uh, changing some policy at, at, at a political level or at the state or national level. And other levels, other disciplines, the impact might just be a journal article where they publish that and it gets out there to the, to the discipline. But in some areas, and this is where our partnership really comes key, it can't, those innovations that could potentially impact the economic world around us, they can't really have that great impact until we protect those ideas in the form of patents often and then get it moving into industry by either forming a company or licensing those technologies uh, to existing companies so that the innovations that happen in Stillwater in the lab or in Tulsa in the lab or other places under the, the OSU umbrella are out there in the economic world driving change. Uh, industry has a lot of questions. For example, right now we're dealing with this saltwater disposal issue and, and what w can we do with this saltwater? And uh, I, when you see a problem like that, it, do, does the vice president of research call the president of the o Oklahoma State Research Foundation and say, we got to figure this out. You need to find some money. I got some guys that can research it. <laughs> we, we, we almost don't have to pick up the phone because we're talking so often <laughs> and uh, in, in person that it's just a part of our everyday conversation. But yes, and we, we're looking for where, where those resources can come from. And often we're, we're looking to who the stakeholders are because, as you mentioned, industry, uh, many of our, our corporate partners simply cannot afford to have a full-scale R&D arm within the context of their particular uh, uh, company. Talk about the Oklahoma State University Research Park on the west side of town here in Stillwater. Yes, well, it is a, it is a new asset for the university that we're very proud of, and we, we plan to, uh, to continue to build that park out and, uh, and, and make it very much important, make it very important to our total research effort. But we have uh, the Cowboy Technologies group is in the Morgan Building at the Research Park and the Technology Development Center has recently been moved from campus out to the Research Park. And that's the, that's the entity that uh, Does the, the faculty patenting. bring, uh, they, yeah. they do the disclosures. That's correct. The disclosure, disclosures go to, to the Technology Development Center and then we uh, file the patents and, and uh, the licensing and royalty distribution uh, takes place at TDC. So that's all located in the, in the, uh, in the Morgan Building. And then there's another building that, that Kenneth is in charge of called the uh, Venture One Building. The Venture One Building, we have a variety of researchers there, particularly researchers that have a little bit of an industry face to the work they do. What are some other strategies you have, uh, uh, Dr. Sewell, for increasing research expenditures at OSU? We're going to be identifying over the course of the coming months the the, the real high poles, the, the, the things that we're going to really be able to hang our hats on at, at OSU, that we're going to be going after big multi-institutional and center type grants and uh, be well, able to- A good example of that is this recent grant, $6 million grant from the federal government to OSU as the lead. Yes. Uh, with uh, our, our 
friends down in uh, Norman as well as uh, Nebraska and Nebraska. Kentucky both on, on, on that. And yes, that's, and that's a good in example. UASs, that's yeah. uh, in weather forecasting. Uh, unmanned aerial it? systems, but particularly as it deploys uh, weather forecasting and weather analysis tools. And so that's a great example of something that we're not just good at, we're really great at, th at that. And we can partner with other institutions, but we often need the attention and help of our folks, our, our, our friends in the House and Senate to help uh, free up these, these, large, uh, these large grants. So that's a good example. We've got some things going in the water and energy, uh, where water, energy, and food all come together that impact our, our world. And that's just key to our, to our land grant mission. So you're looking for ways to maximize the research opportunities for that's our right. faculty that actually serve the public. Absolutely. That is correct. Well, I think uh, I think we got the right uh, right folks here uh, leading our research effort, and I think uh, the combination of these two uh, two entities, the university and the research foundation, uh, I think is going to be a big success. And uh, we're really looking forward to your your administration here uh, here at, uh, at Stillwater, and we're glad that we keep David Waits out of private industry and helping move this <laughs> forward as well. That's another edition of Inside OSU. I'm glad you got to see Inside Research in this, uh, at least uh, at some level. And uh, we're looking for big things to happen here at Oklahoma State. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.